My studio is in St. Leonard's. This studio is amazing because it has really high ceilings, which I am using to replicate space at ACCA to see how to use that vertical height. So at the moment, I have a test set up that is a hanging piece of fabric that's attached to a network of strings and pulleys that is then attached to a motor that we're testing out to make sure that all going to work and relate to each other. <laughs> Often in my work, I draw upon materials that I have a relationship with from early childhoods, drawing upon my upbringing in rural Queensland. The leather that I use is a byproduct of it literally being skin of someone and often the leather is hanging from a hook. When I started thinking through that process of using that material, it was about this memory of going to neighbouring livestock farms and seeing that they would work with animals in this very tender and loving and careful way. But then with this ultimate understanding that they were um, going to leave them at some point. So it was this sort of idea of like lamb to slaughter. I was approached by Canvas, which is the art show on FBI. And they were like, I oh, would really like you to make a work for our relaunch. I'd been thinking for a while about this erotic idea of like plants wanting water. You open the blind and let in the light. I squint and then ravel before you. And started writing text from the perspective of this plant behind me. You know, it's sort of funny, but also incredibly annoying. And also like, like it sort of ends with like, I'm, I'm thirsty. <laughs> That was a really sort of um, good opportunity to, to do something lighter. Dreaming of another life, another space, someone else to share this room. And then going forward to Goulburn, making that work and that show during isolation and this idea of something that you cannot possibly obtain. And so this poem that I wrote that then I drew 10 drawings that each had a hand had either six or seven fingers. So this idea of there's something growing and urging and like wanting, then it finishes with I hope for you because uh, ultimately it's unfulfilled. When I started thinking through the work, there was the bushfires and there was this sudden new anxiety of like, can we breathe today? Work at ACCA is very specifically about trying to process changing my name, changing my gender identity at this point in my life. So these are swivel head um, pulleys. How do I celebrate this person that I am now whilst also having a sorrow for this person that I am now? How do you mourn yourself? So this is the fast speed and then can we try to establish a sense of materials and movement in relationship to the body? And also that sorrow of like when you have that anxious moment and how do I inhale again? <laughs> like trying to have, um, well, like to have air come back into your body. 